Hello everyone, and today is the first day of school and I wanted to share with you what I have on top of my children's desks before they get to their desks. They're eating breakfast right now and I wanted to share with you what I have set up on top of their desks. So, I have their learning binders and I made a video about these learning binders. Um, I'll link it below in the description box, but basically this is a page that they have uh, decorated. I'll link below a blank one so that you can create one for your kids. Um, and then inside we have our calendar pages for our morning time. Then we have charting the weather. Then we have um, 100 days of school chart. Then they're going to be writing in the date different ways. Then we have the handwriting writing sheets for the day. So every day of the week, they have a different handwriting sheet. They're practicing their cursive. So they only have the one week's worth of work in there. The Pledge of Allegiance. How do you feel? Um, this is the number of the day. And I have lots of sheets in here. I don't want to make this all about this binder, but I'm going to link below this binder where you can get these printables for free. They also, all of them have a supply box that I've created. It has their laminated picture in the front with their name. Inside of the box, I have supplies such as glue sticks, scissors. All of them have a pack of these twistable crayons. Um, we have a dry erase marker, two number two pencils. We have this, um, it's like a ruler that we got from Target. And if you unwind it, it becomes a ruler. But there's also like a little uh, thing that you can put around your wrist. It's really cute. Um, so that is their supply box. All of them have that. And then um, I always like to give them a little gift for the first day of school. And this year we got these cute little nanables that they're going to love. They're like Polly Pockets. Uh, brings a little doll, a little house. Uh, there's different ones. So each of them have a different one. And they're going to love that. Then on their desks, I have these organizational charts so that they can track their day. So we have here a practice chart for their instruments. So they're going to be writing down the time that they practice, how, how many minutes, whether it's 10, 15, 20. At the end of the week, they um, say if they met their goal. Then over here, I have a to-do list for them. Um, so each day of the week, they have they know what subjects they're doing and they're just checking it off. So Monday, math, spelling, write a page, Datagrams, vocabulary, read 20 minutes, phonics, explore the code, and play instruments. So each day of the week, we have something different. Um, and I'm going to be going over that in my um, planning video. But every child has the same thing. Their learning binder, their supply boxes, their nanable, their organizational charts. And everything is set up. So I'm really excited to bring them over. They're eating breakfast right now. Um, my two-year-old wants to be involved and I also got him a little box. Um, and he, inside here, he has these jumbo crayons. They're like these triangular crayons. It's good for the fine motor skills. I'll link some of those below. And he has a pencil. I'm gonna keep it really simple for him. And for his gift, he has his little car. Uh, really cute. It's like a jo Yoshi uh, cart. Good morning. Hi. You excited for the first day of school? Uh -huh. All right, go check out your desk.
what month are we in? Uh, August. August. So let's write August right there on our calendars. August. I will tell you what to write on me. A. 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 U. A. You're telling them to them? G. T. U. S. T. That's right. A. U. G. U. S. T. What day of the week? What day of the week it is? Wednesday. Wednesday. Very good. You can color in your Wednesday. When you turn the page, we're going to be charting the weather. What's the weather like today? Uh, it's like very hot. It's very hot. Sunny. Sunny, very good. So let's go ahead and chart that on your I'm weather charts. Color it yellow. Color it yellow, go ahead. Right. Yellow. Do you know what yellow is? It was yellow. Yellow. No, I remember yellow yesterday and the day after yesterday. Yes, that's right. So I should do three yellow. Okay, go right ahead. Now, when you turn the page, today's the first day of school, so you're going to do your first star, you yellow. Your first yeah. star. Good job, Lou. You're doing great. Because today's the first day of school, you're going to color that star. Okay, love? We have to do 99 days of school. Yeah. Whoa. It's a lot. That is, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Now what do we wow, do? Wow, look very good. All right, so while you girls work on your handwriting, okay, you're going to be doing this. Yes, beautiful. I'm going to be reading to you, okay? Yes, so we are reading our devotional, Indescribable. And you girls love this, right? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So fun, right? So let's see what we got to No two snowflakes are exactly the same. God created them each to be unique. Wow, there is not one snowflake that is like another one. Do you ever feel like you're just another person in the crowd? That there's nothing special about you? No. If you ever thought that, you're wrong. Yeah. People have certain things in common, just as most snowflakes are hexagons. Yeah. But other things about yeah. you are just you yeah. and are unique. God created you uniquely. You are yeah. never just another person in the crowd. God sees you. He sees when you're frightened and when you're lonely. He sees what you need and He sees your hopes and dreams. God sees you and loves you and understands you. You're always somebody special to God. Lord, when I feel like I'm nobody special, remind me that I'm always special to you. You know me inside and out and you created me for a unique and special purpose. All right, girls, so let's go over our memory work and let's start off with our poem for this month. Ready? It's called A Wise Old Owl. When you say wise, wise. Can you do that? Wise. A wise old owl lived in the oak. The more, this is the time for more, the more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Let's do it again. A wise old owl. Ready? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke. The more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? 